Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So I started a new show recently called Vikings. I couldn't quite finish it because Mindhunter came out and another show came out and uh, Peaky Blinders and Powers come back as well. So there's that as well. So I don't have enough time to watch uh, Vikings. I'll get back to it eventually, like by like next week or the week after. I'll start season four soon. But the first three seasons that were pretty short, pretty easy to get through, they were good. Um, I watched it through Prime Video, which I have. I have that, I have Amazon Prime. I have that mainly for uh, one day delivery, but Prime Video is a good bonus. And Vikings is one of the original shows, which is great. And when I see people talk about Vikings, I see them comparing it to Game of Thrones. Um, apparently it's, I mean, it's, it's not really the same, but in some ways it's similar since it's quite like historical in a way. To be fair though, Game of Thrones is a lot more fantasy. Vikings is fantasy too, but like Vikings is kind of based on actual events in a way. And actual characters in some way as well um, so that's pretty interesting Vikings also more realistic I mean Vikings you see proper battles with actual like I mean you see battles in Game of Thrones but in Game of Thrones you see dragons and ice zombies there's nothing like that in this there's mythology in Vikings as well for sure but it's a lot more grounded a lot more realistic fighting that's for sure and it involves like Vikings going on raids across to England and other places they invade, they fight, and it's crazy. There's a lot of messed up stuff in there. And uh, there's a lot of kings here and there in England, in uh, where the Vikings are, etc. There's a lot of kings. So there are similarities to uh, Game of Thrones. There's a lot of kings in this show that want to rule. Uh, so I get, the, I get the similarities. And if people say it's better than I understand because Game of Thrones final season just didn't end well. It didn't end well. Let's, let's not talk about it. Let's just forget that show. But as for Vikings... The first three seasons so far, there's some messed up things in it, that's for sure, but I do enjoy it. And I also like how some of the battles and events are based on actual events, like, spoiler alert, there's an event where Vikings go to France, right? And I looked it up on Google, and it was an actual battle as well, and I was just like, I didn't know they went to France, I, I thought they just went to England, or, or some other place in Europe, I didn't think they went to France. But they went to France. I like how there's similarities there to historical stuff. I kind of like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. This is not like accurate to the... Uh, I don't think it is anyway. I would assume not. Well, we'll see. Um, but um, they do change things up to like... For the show, obviously. Uh, but there's some cool stuff in there. Some good mythology. And it's pretty interesting. Um, it's pretty interesting to watch. That's for sure. So the first three seasons for me. Season one, two and three. All of them. Or an 8.5 out of 10. I do enjoy this show. I'm looking forward to seeing season 4 very soon. And I am aware that season 6 coming very soon is the last season as well. So i got to catch up quickly. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And see ya.